Is there a way to create a channel on YouTube so the platform itself starts promoting it from the very beginning? And what kind of optimization keys are usually missed by people who decide to create their own vlog on YouTube? Hi, my name is Roman and this is the Mobavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making great videos. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube channel from scratch. Even if you have already started your own YouTube channel, stay tuned, because today I'm going to tell you how you can optimize your profile and make YouTube want to promote your content. But before we go any further in this tutorial, make sure to click that subscription button, ring the bell and give this video a huge like. And now we're good to go. I hope that most subscribers on this channel already have their own channels and successfully promote them using our tips. But the YouTube platform is growing every day and there are more and more new users who start channels for personal or business purposes. Thousands of people join the platform every single day and it's really important to make this very first step consciously and I would even say professionally, especially if you don't want your channel to get lost among thousands of other newcomers. And now I'm I'm gonna walk you through how to create a new YouTube channel and how to optimize some key channel settings so you can easily maximize your views, your subscribers and your traffic on YouTube. So let's jump right into it. First of all, let's go to youtube.com and click the sign over here in the top corner on the right. For that, you have to be logged into your Google account. So go ahead and create one if you haven't already. By the way, if you already have a channel but maybe you want to create another one, then you have to come down here to settings and go over to add or manage your channels. Ok, let's click here to create a channel and our creator journey begins. Now we need to decide which one of the two types of channels we're gonna create. The first one is a personal channel. It is linked to your personal Google or Gmail account. That's why the YouTube channel name is going to be restricted to your current account name. Also, it means that no one but only you can access it. Of course, there's a chance for other people to log into that exact account and be able to manage that YouTube channel, but in this case they need to use your personal username and password. If you don't want to be sharing your personal Google account login details to anyone, but you still want to have help with your channel, there is a second option. It is a brand channel. This option is going to give you access to a custom channel name and you'll be able to assign other people or Google accounts as channel managers and give them access with their login details. Don't forget that you can switch from a personal channel to a brand channel whenever you like later. For example, you can start running your own channel alone and it grows over time, so in that case you're probably gonna have to hire a manager or even a team with access to your account. Of course, it's up to you what you prefer to choose, but if you ask me, I would recommend a brand channel. That's what I'm gonna select right now. And here comes one of the most interesting parts where you get to decide your YouTube channel name. It could be your personal name, the name of your company, your creative project or something else. I'm gonna call it the best Movavi channel. Ok, that was very easy. But I know in real life it is much more complicated. It can be terribly difficult to come up with a unique name for a channel. Sometimes it takes hours and hours or even months. So good luck with that. But even if you can't come up with a cool name right away, it is no problem. You can change your channel name later. Ok, moving on. Now we need to upload a profile picture. Let it be this one for example. We can also change it later just like the name of our channel. Now we are moving to the YouTube channel description. Actually, you don't need to write too much here, just a few sentences or a laconic paragraph will be enough. Maybe a few words about you and the type of content you create, so your potential subscribers understand what to expect from you. Also, the YouTube channel description is the perfect place to add in some keywords or key phrases. This simple trick helps to get your channel ranking on YouTube faster. For example, on the Movavi channel description we wrote that we provide our subscribers with interesting tutorials on what your camera can really do, video production theory and terms, and how you can recreate awesome effects and filming methods from iconic movies and music videos. And we also promise that our viewers will learn more about video vlogging, shooting, editing videos and photos. And 
all of this is true. Remember that not only viewers will read this description, but also YouTube itself. According to the keywords, it will rank and promote your channel. So do pay attention to this section and not leave it empty. But for now, I'm just gonna copy and paste what I already have here as the description for the new channel. Here you can also add all the links you have as well, your personal or business sites and your social media profile. The next step is to verify our channel. This is gonna unlock some extra options. Now, come up to your profile image, come down to settings and come down here to channel status and features. As you can see, there are different things that you can unlock for your channel, like monetization, live streaming, longer videos, custom thumbnail, custom URL and others. But first of all, we need to verify our channel. There are two ways to get the verification code, with an automated voice message or with a text message sent to your phone. Enter the verification code and that's it. As you can see, after that step, you can upload longer videos, have access for custom thumbnails and external annotations. Okay, now let's return to our channel to add a channel art. By the way, I've already talked about this step in detail in a recent video on the Movavi vlog. I will leave the link down below. If you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out. So you can use the photo from your Google account or from the YouTube gallery. I'm gonna use the one I've prepared in advance. Let's check how it looks on desktop, TV and mobile devices. Move it up if needed and hit select. Now let's just check the about page again. Here you can see our description and some links. It's also important to add an email address for people who want to contact us in the future. And also here you can add a location for your channel as well. Okay, now let's hit save and continue. Now let's go back to the YouTube Studio dashboard, down to the bottom to settings and then down the channel. Then go to advanced settings and come to basic info here. This is where you can add in some key tags or keywords. Now you really need to put yourself in the viewer's shoes. What should the viewer look for? What requests could possibly be used to find your channel? But just don't add hype tags. This is unlikely to help the channel. Only add tags and keywords that are relevant to your channel. As I said before, it also helps the platform understand what your content is about and show your channel and your videos up in the search results. So for me, it could be creating videos, photo editing, video editing, screen capturing software, Movavi, and something like this. On the next tab, you can select whether your content is made for kids or not or if you want to manually select this on every video. So I'll choose this one. Moving to the next step. If you want to add to your video a little branding watermark, you can do it over here. By the way, it is also a subscription button, so you could use your profile picture to make some little extra subscription button. Don't forget to choose where you want this to be displayed, at the end of the video, at the custom start time or the entire time of the video. Let's switch to upload default step. Here you can add some default values that are going to be at each one of your videos. For example, there could be some tags that you're gonna apply every time. Just add them here and they will show up automatically when you upload a new video. Here you can also find some more interesting settings like allowing comments, licensing and other more. Okay, we've almost done, not much left. If we want to add in any other accounts to manage our channel, then we need to go to the YouTube dashboard and then to settings. We can add and remove managers down here. Now let's check some advanced settings. Here you can set your custom URL, like Movavi official, but we can't do it right now. This is only possible after several conditions have been met. Like our channel has to have a channel art and a channel icon, at least 100 subscribers and be 30 days old. So once we reach all of that, we can go back and add that custom URL. Again, that custom URL and not just a random character set is another indicator of being a professional vlogger. So don't forget to change it when you're able to do it. And that was it for today. Now you've got a brand new channel and a lot of useful tips to give it a boost to success from the very start. What's next is up to you. Get a unique channel design, post your very first video, grow your audience. By the way, we already have videos on all these topics on Movavi Vlog, so be sure to check the section down below for useful links. 
and I wish you luck. The first step is made and all the fun lies ahead. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you think it deserves it. And don't forget to subscribe to Mobile Vlog and ring that notification bell. My name is Roman. See you soon.